So I'm with Jeff from k -Pods. He started up his own business. We make uh, teardrop carabins. Um, they're called K-Pods. They're all individually made to order. We've been in business for five years. We started out making them as uh, aluminium shells. I think we're probably the only ones in New Zealand who manufacture our own doors, windows, um, and everything. You know? We have trailers themselves are uh, galvanised. Um, we make everything here on the site, um, apart from the fiberglass now, which we've found out. So with the, the weight of these being only less than 500 kgs, you can tow it with any car basically. We sold them to people with little Suzuki's, Minis, um, V-dubs. Really easy to back, nothing, a really terrible vacuum. You can just unhook it and just push it into, into place basically. So because of the, the height we kept it under, 1.9 metres to fit in, which was to a normal garage. The whole idea behind them was just to have it in your garage um, hooked up on a Friday night and away you go. We've got storage in the front. that lead you two awnings that come with the deluxe, uh, the dump hose, uh, electrical lead. Put a gas bottle room here just, just to house the, the gas bottle. I've still got to take it out and move it around to the back when they're using the um, cutting font. All the windows uh, all opening, uh, blinds. Um, fly screens, all the travel locks, they've all got dead bolts in, um, from lockable from inside, they're all keyed the same. Inside, as I said, they're all made to order, so this one, for example, has got the um, flip down TV as such. It's got the sky box in there, so she can take her sky card from home. Um, nice. She's got a radio as such, speakers, there's actually more speakers inside there as well. Hmm. Another feature of the, the K-Pod, you can have it like in a, in a couch arrangement and under this bin here, we've got two storage bins. Basically it's all about storage really in them. Um, so you've got another set of slats that come across here as well. Um, and that makes up the bed. The bed we can make any length but generally we find 1900 is about the perfect length for, for most people. Uh, got reading lights on, on both sides. Um, the, all the lighting is just touch lighting. Uh, skylight, look, as I said, the little blinds, um, fly screens and such. For a couples, we do recommend they go with, with both doors just because of the ease of getting over each other during the night and pop pop. There's a 105 amp battery which controls all your LED lighting, the water pump, uh, the fridge, and everything. We've got USB sockets everywhere for tablet charging. Um, 12 volt display so they know exactly what their battery voltage is, is doing. Even with the main battery switch off, um, the solar panels are still charging the, the batteries as such. So yeah, on our uh, deluxe model you can plug into power as well. Once you're plugged into power you've got 230 volt sockets inside, 230 sockets in the, in the kitchen area um, for toaster or, or whatever. There will be a flip out barbecue table which is standing on the wall as well. So you need to get two enclosed windows, one that comes out this way and one that comes out over that way. Under the pod you've got a 42 litre water tank, a 42 litre waste tank, um, obviously your discharge is, is there, um, the water filler is on the, the other side. You've basically just got your LED lighting, um, your tap which has got a spray and a, I guess a jet type nozzle that then also comes out for you. Your shower which clips in into your under your enclosed awning. Kelly fault there for your instant hot water. Some people do go with the inbuilt sink and, and cook a combo we call it. Um, we more prefer to just supply the stainless cooker that uh, twin stainless cooker that comes with them. There's two unique features really that set the, the K pod apart, apart from other teardrops is this extra uh, roof height that once you're in there it creates an extra two, three hundred mil for when you're sitting down so your head's not on the ground. Plus, inside, I think we are the only teardrop around that created our own drop down floor base, which does create more leg room as well, and, and that's why we can create a proper seating area when most teardrop caravans is just a flat bed base. We also do an off road model which has proved really popular. Um, all of this is a bigger chassis, you've got aluminium guards that go right up and around. You've got a drop down skid bar. They weigh a little bit more, they're about 650 kgs. They are for real off-roads, they they'll, they'll go anywhere. 
So one of the new, unique things about the K-Pods is that they're all custom made, so what I think sets us apart from other teardrops uh, is that the client gets to pick all their own colours, right from their the exterior colour right through to their wall colour, to their squad colour. But a lot of people like to try and match their own car. We've done camo, we've done red with white polka dots, we've done autumn leaf decals, we've cut all our own graphics over here. And we're pretty flexible on, on what goes in them and it's all up to the individual client that allows them to get a pod that, that, they, that they want.